Hey guys, Francis here with The Brim Factor again and in this video I'm going to tell you what to do when you get a message that says suspicious app detected on your Gmail. First off, you need to take a deep breath because you're probably not in any serious trouble. In fact, if you do a search about this problem, this article from Google Support says, note that a suspicious app might be a perfectly acceptable app that is assessing your account from an unusual location or a relatively harmless app that hasn't yet met Google's current security standards. So you see, it's most likely not a very serious problem and this video was actually inspired by one of our subscribers who commented on this video what to do when you get the critical security issues found a lot on your gmail you might want to check out this video if you have this problem adrian said he has this suspicious app a lot on his email and first i wanted to find out how serious the problem was and i asked if he still had access to his account and guys if you're watching this just like adrian first thing check if you can log into your account and if you can log into your account that means that most of the problem is even solved because you still have access to your account so you can go in and tweak your settings and tighten up your security and all of that stuff so into what you need to do to secure your account and probably solve this problem log into your email account go to your settings icon the cog icon click on it and click on see all settings now this will pull up all of your settings you go to the accounts and imports tab and then you see the change account settings first first thing you see is change password and change password recovery options now this is very important if you think for two seconds that your account may have been compromised it's very important that you change your password and have a fresh password that you've never used before anywhere on your account and also if you've never set up like your recovery options it's also important that you do this because now this is like a reality check for you you know that your accounts can be compromised and in case that happens you want to set up your recovery option so that you can be able to at least try to get your account back but we're not going to click on any of this we're going to go even deeper and click on other google account settings here we can also be able to change the recovery options and passwords if we want click on the security tab and once you click on that you want to pay attention to your devices yeah now the first thing you need to do is click on manage devices and check and see that these devices you recognize them that they are your devices or devices that you have authorized maybe your wife's devices maybe she has access to your email then you have no problem another reason why you don't need to worry if you find anyone that you don't recognize click on the three dots and sign them out if you have an old phone like this one it's been inactive for 270 days you can see so i can just assign that out once that is done you move on to the next step which is third party apps with account access now this is most likely where your problem is click on manage third party access this is going to show all of the apps that you have given access to your account the first thing that you need to do is start from recent apps depending on how many apps that you have here this can be a really serious job but you need to sort through all of this app and look at the ones that you can remember that you gave access to recently because if you're having this problem then it's an app that you gave access to very recently that's causing the problem for you it might be a pain in the you know but just go through them and then sort them out and click on anyone that you recently gave access to and then remove again remember that this may not be a malicious app just an app that doesn't meet the security standards or something you know so click on anyone that you want to get rid of and then remove access you also want to look out for vpn type of apps you know if we go back to the search it says apps that are accessing your account from an unusual location and you know vpn apps are known to do that they are just doing what they are designed to do but google is seeing them as like weird like you say you are in the us why is it showing that you're in the uk this app is must be dangerous you know but they're actually just doing what they're designed to do you don't necessarily have to get rid of them if you need them just know but if you want to test out to see if that's the problem um click on the vpn app and remove the vpn app and see if you don't have that message that error anymore and then finally you just need to do a little bit of housekeeping in this access to your account section check and see some of these apps that you have given access to you don't even use anymore just clean them up so that next time when you have an issue like this you come back you don't have a lot of apps to sort through once you have done all of this housekeeping in here you should be fine finally you want to check to make sure that you have your security a little bit more tightened up and to do this you need to be sure that you have set up your two-step verification you know what this is setting it, your account up so that whenever someone tries to log into your account even if it's you you get sent a one-time password to your phone or google authenticator app and then you can authorize that login this is like one of the most important things that you can do to secure your account also you want to make sure that you set up a recovery phone and recovery email 
you also want to change your password just to be safe just to make sure we have done some things here for your peace of mind change your password and to do this go to the personal info tab scroll all the way down to where it says um, password click on it it will prompt you to re-log in, log in again, and then you can set up a new password for your account. So guys, if you've done all of this, check again to see if you have the error, and I'm sure that this should have fixed your problem. But if it does not fix the problem, please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. We can always talk about it. That's what this community is about. We can try to find ways to help you and help everyone else who has this problem. Um, Adrian, I hope that this helps you as well. Thank you for leaving a comment and telling me about your problem and inspiring this video. And and I hope it helps you and everyone else who has this problem. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.